Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good today. So this whole Krishan blue face situation has definitely turned into a Dragon Ball tea series, okay? It's so much mess going on. So as you guys know, yesterday on my live stream, we had reported that, that Krishan was caught in 4K at Walmart. Well, actually, the video kind of looked like it was recorded on a toaster. It's kind of grainy, but it was Krishan, no doubt. And basically, her baby was just, you know, just laying there with his neck, not being supported. People were very upset about how carelessly she was treating her baby. And so social media was lighting her ass up. Folks were dragging her. The memes were being cranked. And honestly, I had a good cackle at some of the memes. It's like, I got back from Walmart and it's like, I think my, um, I think my, um, d um, post, um, I think my postpartum depression is kicking in. Cause it's like, I did not know you had to do all of that with a baby. Like. I gotta take the baby. I gotta feed it. Who knew you had to take it everywhere? I gotta. Who knew babies breathe and stuff like this is it's too much. Krishan has been doing a lot with this new baby. So on top of social media dragging Krishan, Blueface's mom also came out. She was highly upset at how her grandchild was being treated. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch her video right here. Got my baby in the goddamn grocery store with the goddamn shit folded over and he doing a back beam like he in the goddamn gymnastics already. I don't like none of them. Kylie's first baby daddy, a husband, none of them raggedy. They couldn't even lift up more weights than me. I don't know why my kids out here running around with these goddamn weirdo no Then as I'm, I'm the problem. I'm not the problem. If I dated somebody that I, that that was uh not a red, I could afford to do it. You know why? Cause I could get out here and make that motherfucker something. No, y'all over here just letting them walk around in Walmart. Who the fuck is walking around Walmart? You send somebody to Walmart, you don't walk around Walmart. Other people who write on themselves is at the Walmart. I'm not going in a fucking Walmart. You go in there. I wait for you outside. What was wrong with the Stater Brothers or the Target? Who write on themselves wasn't gonna be in there and pull out the camera and make you look stupid. And Target gonna walk up to you and say, Oh ma'am, your baby's leaning over. You might want to lean her back over. No, you in there where the pulling out the goddamn phones to destroy your whole image and your whole life. I'm not going in on Walmart when Target is right down the road. It's different sets of people. Why are you going over there with them people? You know they about to pull out them raggedy ass phones and put your right on the damn internet. All right, so we just heard from Carlisa, AKA can't let any good drama on Twitter go to waste, okay? So we heard what she had to say about Krishan. You know, she's very upset about the situation. So finally, Krishan decided to speak out today. Um, so I have a few different clips. In the first clip, basically, you know, she's going off and she's saying that people should give her advice and that basically, you know, if y'all are broke and don't got no money, then y'all have no reason to be talking about her. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to go get some money first, as if money has anything to do with anything, but okay. So she's basically calling out, you know, people who are judging her, not giving her advice. Then she calls out Blueface's mom, and then she basically kind of low-key apologizes and says that she's still learning and she's still trying. So y'all go ahead and check out these videos right here. Get on me, I'll hold my son. She the type of friend that listens to nobody's advice. 
No, it's just that, what advice are you giving me? The fuck? Nine times out of ten, I got way more money than the advice than any of y'all giving me. I'm just like, I don't know what y'all talking about. I can give advice, but how about y'all give yourself advice to get some money? Where your money at? Hmm? Where your house at? Hmm? Who are you then? Just suck my dick, y'all. I know, y'all always get on me and how I hold my son. He is okay. He actually liked being hold like that. And y'all ain't these little pranks and like, 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 I don't know. Y'all be like extra scrap up and down with this shit. Trying to put pressure on the bitch. Like she doing something wrong. Uh-oh. I'm hungry, though. It's my baby. For real. You acting like you want to get beat up again. Like, this the thing about it. Mother's evil. Like, what? Like, the only person that actually been, like, fake, like, all right, cool and neutral and, like, Switched on a new little program is the sister. I ain't gonna say nothing about him because I'm gonna leave him out of it because I thought we was gonna be positive for that one. But why are you chiming in on Twitter talking about some? What did he say? I swear to God, I blew, I, oh my God, I blew his phone up. Like, who is you playing with? I thought we was cool. What? Oh, I'm just as surprised as you are. You think this shit is funny, yo? But you're not dead or in jail and you're not doing shit. And this is a whole newborn. That video, I get it. It's hurting and breaking everything. I'm going to just move slower, okay? Like, okay. So I just have to move things slower. And I don't know, like, that that was a complete mistake. But the bitch that recorded, you're weird. This is not your grandbaby. It's my baby. For real. You acting like you want to get beat. Shit I need for my house. Um, I'm calling my baby daddy. Is he helping? No. So I don't know why he's chiming in either. Uh, this mommy shit is cool, but, man, your mind is racing 36, 8 hours a day. And then transitioning to being everything in my situation. I don't know. Like, everything is just overwhelming. Uh, I'm still learning. Um, I love my baby. He's a good baby. I'm going to tighten up straight up. What are you talking about? Big Rock got this. You hear me? Everybody make mistakes. Period. All right, so you guys just saw those videos. So shortly after that, Blueface came out. He was kind of upset because he felt like Prashan was low-key throwing him under the bus. So this is what Blueface had to say. He says, but why she got to blame me? The fuck? I ain't got nothing to do with that Walmart trip or her place. I'm minding my business on that one. She literally wanted to be a single mom for heaven's sake. The baby's name is Krishan Jr. Baby don't even got my last name or none. Then he goes on to say this. I notice whenever she's in the hot seat about a bad decision, she makes, she blame me for some reason, even if I'm not there. Like if I were to be honest, why you take the dog to Walmart anyways? Shopping for your house with your newborn? Dog added extra to your plate for nothing. No more victim games, Rock. They're not going to respect that no more. This is exactly what you wanted. The only victim is Krishan Jr. Because you really playing the game for real at this point. Then he says, I know she's going through some and it's not easy. No hood harder than parenthood. So I'm not going to be mean to her no more because her mental state determines how my son's day goes. Let's just encourage her to be more accountable and responsible this time around. Come on, Rock. We got this. I'm here. Then he goes on to say, my last tweet. I had nothing to do with the Walmart video. My last tweet was about the apology and nice things she said about me on live as far as the Walmart. Amen. She going to do her. I can't micromanage her and the baby. Y'all said I was doing too much, so I backed off. She going to be okay. So that is what Blueface had to say about the situation. Like I said, you know, I hope and pray she gets it together for her child's sake. But it's hard for me to continue to look at her as a victim. And I, I think people continue to coddle her. This is the same girl that was live yesterday talking about she wants to get pregnant, you know, after her six weeks of healing is up. She wants to get pregnant and have another baby. 
She can barely handle this first one, and you're talking about having a second one. I hope my girl looking like this. <laughs> yeah, I'll be pregnant in the next, what, six months. Beware. <laughs> Hold on, when, when do you get off this break? Okay. Eight, six weeks? Six weeks, yeah, but... Yeah, I'm, get, really wait I'm getting pregnant six weeks. I mean, it's six weeks. Know. She's trying to name the baby after Blueface again, after saying she didn't want to have anything to do with him. I think, like I've been saying from day one, and people have been making excuses for her, she needs to sit in the home, be around her child, and get some good people around her who can really help her and advise her. You know, if her mother can't do it because of past issues, maybe an aunt, maybe some parenting classes. But at the end of the day, you don't know what you don't know, right? So I'm not going to knock her. But she has to choose. You know, if you're going to be a mother, you got to take it seriously. You can't be sitting here trying to walk a dog in Walmart. Meanwhile, your baby's neck is just hanging there dangling. You know, the baby didn't even have to come out of the car. It could have stayed in the car with whoever she was with. Um, there was no reason to bring both the dog and the child. You know, but a lot of people are saying, well, hell, look how she treated her puppy. You know, there's a video of her going viral right now of her throwing the puppy in the back seat. And folks are like, she can barely take care of a dog, let alone a baby. But I think we're just going to have to give her some more patience. But she needs to understand, you know, the, all this, well, instead of recording me, you could have came and gave me advice. That's not how it works. You chose celebrity. You chose fame. You're now famous. And that's what comes with it. Celebrities are filmed secretly. Celebrities are filmed everywhere they go. The Kardashians deal with it. Every celebrity you can think about, they deal with it. So you have to move accordingly. There are millions of eyes watching you wherever you go. So you need to make sure that you're doing the right thing per that baby. Because the second you mess up, it's going to be on social media and folks are going to drag you. I just hope that Krishan ends up getting it together. Because again, her baby is adorable. And you know, I know she loves being a mom and she cares about her son. But she needs to understand the proper way to parent him. And I think, you know, she doesn't want to have anything to do with Blueface's mom, which is understandable. But I think instead of constantly going live, looking to attach herself to drama, you know, how about hitting her up and giving her advice? You know, letting her know what she needs to do. But again, you know, Blueface's mother's parenting has come into question time and time again. So, child... This whole family is nuts. And I think social media, they're literally at their wit's end. I think at this point, social media is definitely at their wit's end with Krishan and Blueface. Um, I saw this video earlier and it made me cackle. I am so sick and tired of seeing Krishan and Blueface on my damn motherfucking feed every fucking day, every minute, every hour is an update. Oh my God, Krishan and Blueface just had dinner. Oh my God, Krishan and Blueface just texted each other back. Like, I'm tired of seeing them. The blogs need to stop. Neighborhood talk, Hollywood Unlocked, The Shade Room, like, I'm tired, and I know y'all are too, and I'm tired of Zeus thinking that we need Krishan for their show to be successful, like, girl, there was Bad Girls Club before there was Krishan, she is not needed for the show's success, I'm tired of seeing her dumb ass on my screen, nah. Alright, so y'all just saw that young man's rant. So again, I leave the question up to you guys. How do y'all feel about this situation? How do you guys feel about the back and forth with Krishan, Blueface, Carlisa? How do you feel about Krishan's response? You know, to people holding her accountable for how she had her baby at Walmart. Do you guys feel bad for Krishan or do you feel like once again she's playing the victim? And then how do you guys feel about what Carlisa and Blueface had to say as well? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Feel free to like and share the video. Most important, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel so that way you can get all of this piping hot tea. So I will talk to y'all later. Enjoy your weekend. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.